Well, like I said, I already knew what they was gonna do. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Cause uh, they already told me, either the 50 or the mandatory life. I took the life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, and that's crazy, man. So when you, okay, when you end up finally saying, they say you gonna have to either, they did offer you any time? Uh, no, I mean, they offered me, they offered me, what, 50 years. They came to you and said, you take 50, you can Yeah, they came to me take 50 years. You know what I'm saying? I didn't take it. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, we going to trial. But why not? You know what I'm saying? When well, I'm going to take 50 years or something that I ain't never got caught with on me or nothing, but y'all going on word of mouth of what people saying. Wow. You know that's saying? crazy. On, on the streets. So you you turn it down. How long was it after that that they took you to, to trial? Uh, after you turned that 50 down? Oh, it took like a couple of months after that. It took a couple of months. What county was you in? Was you back in Greenville? Yeah, I was in Gifford County, yeah. So they brought you back? They brought me back. So yeah. they already had, was there anybody there, pers somebody had to have a personal van vendetta against you in order to do that? Oh, well, you know, it's it's a lot of that. You, you know see what, what I'm saying? saying? I mean, yeah, it's, it's a lot of that on the outside. It's a lot of that in the, in, in the inside. inside. So I don't see both, word, both worlds. Yeah, so you. How they operate. <clears throat> so you. What I trip off of is now you 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 get this fifty offer to you, and then you got to go back. Did you have time to sit and think about it, or did you have to take the? No, I told him. I told him on the max. So my mother, my mother, when she was there with me, she you know she was saying that you know they trying to um see first they came with the life automatically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They just trying to give me life because that's what 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 it carried. This was this was this was crack. Yeah, that's what this wasn't. This was rocked up. It was rocked up. You know, that's where they carry. And so my mother, she would ask me, "What you know, you know, what's up? What you gonna do?" I said, "I'm going to trial." You know what I'm saying? What did your mother say? She said, "Well, mother, she's gonna let let me know she's gonna be here with me." You know what I'm saying? She did. She went all the way with me forward. Let me made a decision that I wanted to make. You know what I'm saying? Because she already know it ain't gonna be another way. So the DA. Well, or, or is it a DA? This a DA that's trying to get this conviction, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And it took them, it took them, uh, six courts, major experience. I mean, a major appearance to sentence me because they didn't know how to sentence me, but they really didn't know the whole guidelines when they came out with that. So they kept taking a lot of a couple of times to interview me because they didn't really know how to sentence me. Wow. So then when you <clears throat> took it to trial, did you go before 12 or did you go before a jury? Yeah, I went before 12. Before 12. Yeah, well, how, 12. How was it that day picking the lineup for us for your trial? Because they, they, I know they bring you in there and then they got to pick, pick you, you know, the law, your lawyer. Mm -hmm. He's got to pick, pick those 12 jurors. How was that day? It was, it was crazy, you know, because I'm trying to, when you got the lawyer trying to, you know, telling you, Little pointers and stuff like that. You you trying to pick the, the the right people. You know what I'm saying. So, I I did the best of my knowledge to do what I do. So, and I, but I still got caught. Probably. Was it was it how many people was in the uh, in the was it any blacks jurors? Yeah, it was uh it was uh three blacks. The rest of them three was blacks. To my to my recollection, and and. and so when you was in there and they basically took and basically threw your life and said, we giving him life, how long did this trial last? It might, it lasts about, they got rid of me quick. It was pushing them, they pushing did it them. It last two fast. days, no, three days? My trial lasted probably about, maybe about two, a week or two. So it did last a week. At least a week or two. You was going back and forth to court. Yeah. And the DA was bringing all this evidence up against you. Did they, what type of, did they bring the drugs in and give it to the jurors or show it to the yeah, jury? Yeah, they did all that. They brought the drugs in, showed it to the jury and all that. You know what I'm saying? Letting them know how dangerous it was and did they what, they what did you. they say? They say you you would sell drugs. So I was to a known drug dealer and this and this and that. I'm bringing uh, 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 crack and 
things like that, you know what I'm saying, through their uh, uh, counties and you know, things, that, all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying. They, they, they were just, they, they, they was even throwing stuff on me, just throwing stuff, stuff I don't even know nothing about. Wow, two weeks go by. Yeah. You guys are back and forth in the court. When did you know I'm about to, to get a life sentence? Well, I, I knew at the beginning. So you knew they was going to give you I life? I knew at the beginning. But you was going to make them give it to you? Yeah, yeah. Why they, was they that? Yeah, I mean, that because, you know, I was, that's just me. That's the way I was raised, you know what I'm saying? I would never, ever bring down another person, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they do to me, that's on them, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can handle it before I went in. My mom, my mother, uncles, and everybody, they already knew who I was, you know what I'm saying? So it was it but the only thing that hurted me is to see the other half of your family go through what you know what I'm saying what, what, what you got to go through because when you getting locked up and going through stuff like that you taking down a whole a whole a whole community you know what I'm saying especially with the people that love you and things like that did you have any kids at the time yeah and I lost them yeah I got a son I got one son I got two I got a son crunchy and I got a daughter but my son got killed. And uh, I think he got killed while I was in here in uh, 2000, for sure. Recollection is bad. But he got killed. I was in Long Park in California and uh, went through that. But I lost a lot of people, aunties and uncles, and, you know, being up in there, you know what I'm saying, with a life sentence. Wow. You know. When you, um, you got to think about this, man. When you um, when when you think about what they you know what they did, and I know. You know you you, you said back when that when they came out, you said it didn't take much time doing it. But two weeks is a pretty good time though. Mm -hmm. They came out. They they told you you were gonna get life. Um, what was your first reaction when they when they told you that you just. When they uh when they announced it, the judge said, uh, "Jury, do y'all have a decision?" Mm -hmm. Yes, we do, y'all. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do you remember about that day? Well, like I said, I already knew what they was gonna do. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Cause uh, they already told me, either the fifty or the mandatory life. I took the life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, you know, I'm not, I'm going, I'm, yeah, I'm going to trial. Mm -hmm. So I went to trial and, um, and lost. So they gave me mandatory life without parole. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, um, so watching my mother go through what she went through, you know, that's, like I said, that's the harder part. And then thinking about my siblings and stuff like that. So, you know, but I was ready and prepared, you know, so. I just said, well, I just got to go in here and do it the best way I can. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely ain't finna uh, bring nobody down. Or none of that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.